Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I made the trailer for Hammer's The Vampire Lovers, also the Australian TV spot for this film. Lesbian vampire movies are among my guilty pleasures. Made in 1971, Daughters of Darkness is an iconic example of the genre. No fangs or coffins, some blood and frontal nudity, but essentially the Countess Bartori legend retooled as brooding psychosexual Euro art film. The driving force behind it was Belgian University professor, film, TV and opera director Harry Kummel, who, one actress reports, once slapped her for being late to the set. I never found that that helped. The movie has its admirers and detractors. This fast-cut trailer gives no inkling of the film's measured pace. The story concerns two newlyweds obliged to stay in a deserted Belgian resort hotel in the off-season. Deserted, that is, until a mysterious countess and her adoring secretary check into the suite next to them, weaving a web of deceit, jealousy and seduction. They are vampires regarding the honeymooners as two jugs of true blood. It's an exploitation film that dares to reach for higher ideas than mere blood-sucking. It's more of an allegorical erotic thriller than a traditional vampire movie. In fact, it's in the staging of the scenes of violence that Kummel's direction is at its weakest. However, he cleverly disguises his low budget with a lavish location, a combination of two hotels in Ostend and Bruges, cheaply acquired in their winter season and he shoots them with atmosphere and an effective use of violet and red. In something of a casting coup for a little-known director, he signed up renowned European stage actress Delphine Seerig, who had famously been photographed 12 years before wandering around an equally Baroque hotel in the acclaimed, if somewhat inscrutable, arthouse movie last year in Marienbad. Her performance is one of a kind, a combination of Jean Harlow looks and Marlena Dietrich manner. She's a soft-spoken symbol of aristocratic decadence, charming, sexy, and wholly unlike the monster she's playing. Yet quite against the conventions of the genre, this is a lesbian vampire who remains fully clothed throughout. Even among the movie's fans, opinions diverge. Some see Daughters of Darkness as a black comic take on female empowerment. Others say it's an indictment of the abuse of power in all relationships. The abused becomes the abuser, and the cycle continues. Decoding Kummel's symbolism adds another layer of enjoyment to this unique piece of Eurocult.